what's going on guys jake here and in this video i'm going to be going over two different minecraft designs these are going to be two kind of basic pond type designs but they are going to be different in nature and before i get into the video i'm actually going to switch my hud on so i can actually like see stuff and actually maybe not even my hud just my hand and yeah there we go and I'm going to show you both of these, but like I was saying before I get into the video, feel free to subscribe if you are into gaming type content. And if you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like too. But other than that, getting into it, oh, and also don't forget to vote which one's your favorite. So this is going to be like the oak, like forest pond. This will be like, I don't know, maybe like a koi pond or like a, like a Japanese like type pond, something like that. I don't know. I'm going to figure out the titles of them later, but either way. So this first one right here, this one is actually like very simple to do. Like you could do this, like maybe minus the fish and like some random things, but um, this one can be very easy to do in an actual survival world. So starting off with the little campfire over here, fake tree, which I think is a cool design because you can literally make this using like two fence posts and like a couple leaves of your choice, then add some oak down there for some texture. And then on the outside, I did use bone meal for this, but you could obviously decorate the outside however you want, get a little more creative with that. Then inside the actual pond, um, there are some sea pickles down there to make it light because when it gets dark out, um, it does get kind of dark in there. I added this little lantern right here and the fire lantern and the sea pickle actually do enough to like light up this whole little area right here in the middle of the night. And I could have added more, like I was gonna add like a little like tent area over here almost, but I decided to keep it like this because it is kind of simple. And I think it looks pretty good, honestly. And this could be a really easy addition just to like your house or like a little village you're making, something like that. Then moving on to this one over here. So this one over here, uh, this is more of like a Japanese style, I guess, if you wanna call it that, more of like a koi. I don't know, maybe just an Asian style. I don't really know. I'm going to figure out what to call this one afterwards. But uh, either way, I did this little entry archway here, which again, isn't like too difficult to make. If you're playing survival, like it really isn't a whole lot. It's really fences, trap doors, a couple blocks down there, and that's it. And this one, I want to do more of like a pathway design. Like you would walk over here and then hang out over here, hang by the pond, do what you want to do over there. And then again, I utilize lanterns because... Honestly, lanterns just look a whole lot better than torches, in my opinion, just if, since ever since like they got into the game, they just look a whole lot better. They're more difficult to make, I guess, to an extent, but still look really, really good. Then in the pond itself, obviously, I added a little bit more designs down there, but nothing much. You could add more lily pads, but honestly, the fish kind of get stuck on them, which is just kind of annoying if you don't make it deep enough. So um, I had more, but I deleted them. But I think the lily pads look more in place in this one. Then on the outside, I purposely only did a certain type of flowers and I also added the grass too, but I only did a certain type of flowers because I think it looks better if you actually like, um, rather than just placing like bone meal around like I did with this one, but I think it looked good in that one. But in this one, I think if you like strategically place the colored flowers, it does look a bit better. And some more lanterns and I kind of like adding these like fences, this little bush, these like little uh, stone slabs and stuff because it kind of like almost like guides you along in the path so that you like stay in this little area but at the same time like it's obviously like open like you could get in and out of this like very easily but it still kind of guides you through there and then kind of like the last part i put in were just those two bamboo so rather than putting just like um pod sole and like uh, uh sugar cane over there i did the bamboo trees because honestly i just think it looks a little bit better and it kind of fits the theme a little bit more and then I was gonna do like another one, more of like a beach, like aquatic type build, but I don't know, it just didn't really work out. It's not really a pond, that'd be more like just like hanging out like a sea or like the ocean. So um, those were the two I did. So let me know in the comment section which one you like better. So it's either gonna be this one over here or it's going to be this one. And I mean, you can call this one the oak one, the forest one, whatever you want. And then this one, I don't know, you can call it whatever you want. The Japanese, the koi pond, yeah, it doesn't really matter to me. I'm probably gonna come up with like a better name in the title, but either way, definitely let me know. And also let me know what another like theme or what another pond build I could have done. Maybe I'll do it in a future video. I don't know, like I was saying, I was thinking maybe like, maybe even like a jungle theme build, maybe that'd be cool. Maybe a jungle one, or maybe some sort of, like I said, like maybe just an ocean one, wouldn't be as much of a pond, but maybe like an ocean or maybe a river one. I don't know, that's kind of like what this one is, like a river one, but I don't know. 
let me know because uh, I couldn't really think of another idea, but uh, definitely let me know. Maybe, I don't know, maybe like a modern, maybe a city one. Maybe that would have been cool. But um, other than that, guys, like I said before, feel free to subscribe, like if you enjoyed the video, and definitely stay tuned for more content. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed.